and we're going to do it the other way around. This time, we're going to look for the polynomial function for this graph. So, that is it. Okay, we're going to do it the other way around. Instead of us looking for the graph of the function, this time, given tayo ng graph, hanapin naman natin yung polynomial function of least degree. Okay? So, the things that we need to consider here are, una, ano yung degree nito? So, what will be the degree of our function? So, by looking, ang turning points niya ay, we have one turning point here, we have another here, we have another here. So, we have three turning points. So, remember the concepts of what turning points. At most, n minus 1. So, I think 4. Baka 4. And then, yung end behaviors niya parehas going down. Nagka nagkakaroon lang tayo ng parehas na end behavior kapag ang ating degree ay even. Mukhang hindi naman pwedeng 2. So, I think our degree is 4. 4. Okay. The next thing you need to do is to look for the x-intercepts. So, the x-intercepts of this function based on the graph are negative 3. Tumama siya dito sa negative 3. Let me use another color. Tumama siya sa negative 3. Tumama din siya sa negative 2. Tumama siya sa x equals 3. At tumama siya sa x equals 4. So, the x-intercepts are um, negative 3, negative 2, 3, and 4. Now, let's look for the y-intercept. That will be very important later. For the y-intercept, we have negative 3. Negative 3. Tumama siya dito. Okay. Let's now form our polynomial. So, we have f of x is equal to... Now, kung ang x-intercept niya ang una ay negative 3, ibig sabihin, factor niya si x plus 3. Remember, x-intercepts are also the values of your roots kung equation to at 0 kung function to. So since this is a function... Negative 3 is 0, so therefore factor C, x plus 3. And also, x equals neg And we have also negative 2, so therefore we have x plus 2. And then we have a 3, so that will become x minus 3. And then 4, we have x minus 4. Okay, and we have to put A here. Okay, that will be very important. Kasi kung nag-scale up yung function mo, na multiply for example sa 2, na multiply for example sa 1 half, or na multiply sa negative number, they will still have the same zeros. Okay, they will still have the same zeros. Kaya importante na may iba ka pang point na gagamitin para ma-vary. Mare ito, kung, kung wala tong A na to, if you don't have A here, then we will have a polynomial function. I'm just going to expand this. Okay, pero... Ang, ang, ang sigurado lang tayo doon ay yung mga zeros niya o yung mga x-intercepts. Hindi tayo sure doon sa iba pang point sa tinamaan. So, mahalaga na meron tayong isa pang point. Katulad nito, kinuha natin yung y-intercept na negative 3. Kailangan ma-sure din natin na negative 3 yung y-intercept niya. So, that's the reason why we're putting a here para mamaya sure tayo na negative 3 yung y-intercept. Medyo malabo yung concept na no. Pero, well, anyway, that a is very important. And then all you have to do is to expand this, okay? You can use either GeoGebra or Pedi Mano Mano. So let's have a scratch work here. Let's multiply x plus 3 and x plus 2. We have x plus 3 times x plus 2. That will give us x squared plus 5x plus 6. Then let's multiply x minus 3 times x minus 4. That will give us x squared minus 7x plus 12. Now, all we have to do is to multiply this two trinomial. Multiply natin dito. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 times x squared minus 7x plus 12. Let's multiply x squared first. x squared, x squared. We have x raised to 4 plus 5x cubed plus 6x squared. And let's, let's move on to negative 7x. Negative 7x times x squared, that's negative 7x cubed minus 35x squared. And negative 7x times 6, that's negative 42x. Let's have 12. 12 times x squared, that's 12x squared. 12 times 5x, that is 60x. And 12 times 6, what's that? 72 plus 72. And then, let's simplify. We have x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed. 6, 35, and 12. So, 6 plus 12, that's 18. 35 minus 18 is... That's minus 17. X squared plus 42. And 60, that's 18x plus 72. So, therefore, zoom out. We can copy this. Let's copy that and let's paste it here. Napasama yung... Okay. So, we have this one. Do not forget the A. That's very important. 
this is your f of x. And then in this time, para malaman ko ni value ng a, kasi kunyari, for example ha, hindi natin nilagyan ng a to. So buray natin yung a na yan. Tapos you told me, sir, ayan na yun. Ayan na yung, ano, yung function. But take note, if you determine the y-intercept, you solve for the y-intercept of this function, this will become 0, 0, 0, 0. You will end up with 72. The y-intercept is 72. Hindi yan totoo. Kasi as you can see, the y-intercept should be minus 3. So we still have to compute for that one. Although, ito, ang roots nito ay itong mga, mga x-intercepts na to. Pero yung y-intercept iba. So that's uh, the importance of having an a there because we want to no, ano ba yung imumultiply natin dyan para makasigurado tayo na minus 3 yung ating y-intercept at tinamaan niya yung ibang mga, mga points na dapat tamaan dito sa graph. So let's compute for the y-intercept. That means we're going to evaluate f at 0. That will give us a times, this will become 0, minus 0, minus 0, plus 18 times 0, plus 72. f of 0 according to the y-intercept, that's negative 3, is equal to a times positive 72. Okay. And then all you have to do to compute for the value of a, divide everything by 72. By 72. Therefore, a is equal to negative 1 over 1 over 24. So, and then, since our a is negative 1 over 24, let's go back to our function. Our function is na, uh, your a. So, substitute na natin dito. We have minus 1 over 24 times x to the 4th minus 2x cubed. So, let's divide everything by 24. Tama ba? So, maging negative yan. Negative x raised to 4 over 24 plus x cubed kasi negative, negative x cubed over 12. Simplify ko na because there's a 2 there. Plus 17x squared divided by 24 minus 18 and 24 um, by 6, 3 over 4. Negative 3x over 4 and 72 divided by 24 that is negative 3. So therefore, the, the polynomial function based on the equation is this. And there's one way to verify it. Let's use GeoGebra to sketch the graph of this function. Let's activate algebra and graphics. So all we have to do is to plug in. Plug in the equation. Let's key in the equation. Let's key in the equation. We have f of x equals... So how do we write this? That's minus x raised to 4 divided by... The, let's put that in parentheses. We have minus x raised to 4 divided by 24, then plus, we have x cubed divided by 12, plus 17x squared divided by 24, minus 3x over 4, minus 3. Let's enter. Let's look for our graph. And let's compare. Okay? So based on the graph, yeah, the verify na natin. And therefore, the equation of this graph is this one over here.